Right, hi guys. Today is a big strap review. I'm going to be doing the that review that I promised for weeks on, on end and I finally got round to it. A quick note though, one of the straps, the Sun Sniper Pro, had to be recorded quite a while back, over a month I think now, before the photography show because the client needed it back for the show so I had to record it quickly, get get it out of the way and it's now, only now that I've had a chance to do the rest of the strap so that was recorded earlier I wasn't able to give it a full review that I wanted to because I didn't have the time I was I only had it for a day or two and I was caught up with other things but you get the gist of what the strap is like Alright, hi guys I'm reviewing the Sun Sniper Pro and I'm the quick caveat I'm going to do this one very quickly so some of the tests I won't be able to do but you'll still have the full details because I have to return it today for uh, Techno who provided me with this strap for the photography show even though this review will be going out after the photography show so do bear with me but I will go through all the details anyway I have the Sun Sniper Pro on me it fits very nice uh, I can see myself carrying around a heavy camera all day and not really feeling it because you can just tell by how it fits your body and how comfortable it is. There's no uh, edginess or some straps I've had fit very badly and so there's little it doesn't sit properly on your shoulder but this fits the curves of your body so you know it's going to be comfortable. As for speed it very quick but what I don't like is a shifted off the camera strap uh, it's not too bad but it it does shift a bit but nevertheless it's a very smooth uh, glide so if you were going to catch something quick and you had it by your side it would be no problem it's just that I have to readjust it afterwards it sits nicely at a low level at my hip though you can't see on this particular review it sits nice at my hip and it's very well constructed now let's look at the construction I'm going to do this like this so as you can see there's a there's a flexible part here it's more like a spring a rubber spring now why this is good because if you have a particularly heavy camera you know it's going to move and it, but it's not going to tug on your shoulder it's going to uh, this allows it some freedom so it's going to be less comfortable to you and the strap does all the work so that is incredibly nice and it grips to your clothes so that it lessens the movement even though it does move when you glide it up it lessens the movement at the other end of the strap it has an adjustable uh, buckle so you can shorten it or lengthen the uh, the strap which is nice now the attachment I particularly like this attachment because a lot of the straps even my own particular strap which I love dearly you need a, a penny or screwdriver made penny to screw it in now this you just do it with your hand perfect way easier than my own strap I have to admit that and you screw it back on incredibly easy you know I'm always searching around for a penny or trying to do it in my hand which is never tight enough but so you got it secures very nicely very simple but very sensible uh, attachment and the, and this swivels around so you're not having a camera going awkward way it swivels with your strap so that is really good what I also like about this is the way the the padded area is it's nice and firm it's webbed so if it's not going to sweat on your shoulder where it makes most of the contact is aerated so less sweating it's a rubber texture so that grips again lessens the movement again like I, even though it does move a bit but it's very good very thick and strong you can adjust take the belt and adjust it. it's velcro there and likewise there the logo is there looks very nice what is particularly impressive about this strap but very few straps have this is a high tensile steel wire that goes through this this is slash proof now when you're traveling in another, a number of countries where there's a danger that someone might slash your strap and run off with your gear seriously if they do manage somehow to cut through the strap this strap the Sun, Sun Sniper Pro 
provided by Techno. I'm not sponsored by anyone, but I want to give them a shout out because they did provide a strap. Uh, you are covered by 1,000 euro insurance. So if someone does manage to cut this and run off with your gear, you would be compensated by 1,000 euros. That is incredibly good. It's amazing. I don't know. Well, they're in, obviously very confident in their product and you can see how it's made. It's a very well made product. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed that segment. As you can see, uh, it's very difficult to really say which strap is better and which is the worst. I've got them here. I'm just quickly go give an overview of what I think of each strap. I'm gonna pull them out like Lucky did. Well, this one, the black wrapping. To be honest, I'm gonna be uh, quite open about it. I'm sick and tired of uh, most of photography blogs or vlogs or video channels going black rapid this black rapid that black yes it is a good very good strap but it's not the only strap and to be fair before I get all this hate mail I did feel that black rapid was there up the top out of all the straps I I reviewed let me get this untangled black rapid was there at the top you can make the decision for yourself which one you prefer but essentially the way it's constructed, the metal uh, slider part is very important. I discovered some of the straps use a uh, plastic flat uh, slider. I'm going to call it a slider because I don't know what it's called. And you can see that it actually grips. This is round, same as my carry speed, and it slides. And I can see why they claim it to be the fastest in the world same as my carry speed but generally the black rapid is a good strap it's very basic it has what it needs it has a clip here to hold your strap in place and a clip behind it so when you're carrying and you want your camera to be in one place that's where it's going to stay then you loosen the clips when you want to slide it up and down simple to the point no unnecessary gimmicks got a uh, a clip at the back where you can unbuckle it and again it's got a safety clip so you need two hands so that's very good I like that so there's not much more I can say is the padded areas well well constructed nice neoprene everything looks good there's nothing that looks cheap about it this looks uh, the, the, the stitching all these things are important because you'll get some cheap straps that you get cheap stitching that's going to come out after after a few months. This is a strap to last. Yes, I don't believe that Black Wrap is the only strap, but it is one of the best. Definitely, it'll be up to you to choose whether you like it better than the other straps. This retails maximum of £65. Uh, is it worth it? Well, it's, given the price of photography gear, I say yes it is. If I didn't have the carry speed, I may well choose this, but there's others I, I quite liked in the group. This is one of this is one of them. My friend Pete took a fancy to this. He preferred this. He said if you had to choose between any of them, it'd be this and my carry speed. So this is a black rapid curve. Do I have the box there? No, I don't. So this is the Black Rapid. You can decide for some. I'll put some information up. It'll be along here. A bit of details about the the strap, so you can get pause it. And I'll be doing that for each strap as I go through. Pause it. Look at the specifications, the feature set, and you can decide for yourself. Anyway, so that's the Black Rapid. Let's see what else. I've got in my bag, but before I have my latte, homemade latte. That's glorious. Let's see what else. Ah, the B glider from B Grip. Now this was an interesting one. At first, it confused me because it has got a lot to it. Now, what I like about this strap, I'll say right off the bat is the thickness of the of the shoulder area and the near prim. It's very comfortable, very 
uh, thick, thick in thickness and wide, so you know it's going to displace the weight across your shoulder. It's got two clips here. Unfortunately, they're not the two-handed, so someone could unclip it. But they're strong. I'm not going to overly uh, go on about uh, that point of the two-handed clip, but it, it is nice to have that mechanism. So you got that, and you had, as you see in the part, you had to have a little clips that come with it. Have I got them here? Let me see. I think they're still on my backpack, but you know what it is if you watch the video. You've got to give you two extra buckles that are fixed to your backpack. They come with a strap, and then you can unbuckle this, and then unbuckle that. And you've got your camera strap that goes straight to your backpack and your camera's hanging in front of you and you've got access to it and it's still a slide, slide strap. So, what confused me about this strap? Oh, I know you must be asking that question. Well, at first, with the compacts, it didn't seem to work that well. But given its construction, now you see it's quite a big strap. It's got a nice, I like this, the quick release plate. It's like having a tripod. So you wanna take it off your camera, you slide it up, you've got it straight in your hand. And what even better, they've thought of quite a lot on this uh, B group. They're very innovative, let's just say that. Where is it? Oh, I'm not being very good. You've got a little handle. So, let me demonstrate. <laughs> I keep a spare GH1. Well, it is the only GH1 I have. I keep it spare because it, it fell and broke off the tip which there you go so let's demonstrate again you have your strap you see something you want to or you want to take it off your cap off the strap for whatever reason you want to put it on the table next to you or you want to just want it free from your strap there you go take it off perfect you or you just want to carry it around like that for a while well now Secure, nothing's gonna break off that. It's nicely constructed. I can't see any problem with it. But the thing that confused me was why it wasn't working so well with uh, comp my compact, uh, my mirrorless camera. I think I was using this to demonstrate, yes I was. And it's the way it's constructed, I have a, I'm confident in saying that I think it's made for a heavier camera. In fact, I have to give uh, own up to it. I think we didn't have it adjusted right as well, but it is, oh, before I forget, as you know, there's a little clip here to hold in place. So we've got a lot of different features. Anyway, once we put on Pete's 5D Mark II with a heavy, uh, I think it's an 18 to 200 lens, worked beautifully. This, like I say, is suited to more your DSLR, and it does work lovely when you've got a DSLR on it. The compact system camera is a bit too light for it. It doesn't seem to flow with the compact camera. So I would say this is more of your DSLR uh, strap. Good for professionals. You've got heavy cameras because I'll tell you what, when I put the 5D on this, didn't feel it. It was like there was no camera there and I'm not exaggerating. This was extremely comfortable with that heavy weight on my shoulder. Didn't feel it. Normally, give my health a lot weaker than I used to be and I feel things a lot more. This, I didn't feel it and Pete uh, concurs with me on that. So, again, feature set will come up here and you can pause it and look at the B glider from B grip. A very good strap. I haven't got the price for me, it'll go up in the details. So, great for DSLRs but not so great for your compact system cameras. Let's put that one down then. Who else should we come up? No, not that one. I didn't demonstrate that one because... And here it is. The PackSafe 150. When I, I purchased this to review it, when I purchased it, I was overly excited and really keen to keep this strap when, when I buy it. I thought, I'm not going to sell it again. I'm going to keep it. It's PackSafe. It's, well, why would I want to keep it? Well, firstly, it's got this little handle here. 
which I should have said the uh, black rapid is a turn handle so you don't need a, a coin as a coin as well so apologies there so uh, you've got this and you can tighten it without a coin but should you wish to tighten it with a coin screwdriver you have that little slit there just at the bottom now this is made from metal as well they've sussed that and this strap is extremely strong the webbing is extremely strong why because they've had to put two layers because in between the two layers are two high uh, piece of high tensile steel running through this and which is this camera this strap is made for really travel photographers who are traveling in areas of the world where people are known to come along slash your strap and nick your camera they try it with this you're not going to do it there's no even if you manage to get through one and it's a not thin wire cheap thin there's a high tensile steel you're not going to get through the second so why am i not going to keep this even though oh there's little features which i don't think they're great features but look you can put your memory cap here memory cards there uh, lens cap there uh, not really a selling point this was comfortable but what disappointed me about this as you probably seen when I was demonstrating part every time you move this the whole thing would move and it would end up here so what you end up you have to adjust it again so you slide it up again or go there I don't know why it could be because of the steel that's inside it doesn't hang very so when you're moving it up it moves the whole thing because it's more stiff than the other webbing. That's the only reason why I think it would do that. So you have your pluses and minuses having something so thick with why it doesn't fall naturally as a normal webbing would because again because it's got the, the steel there. Gravity won't pull on it so much to make it straight. It sort of hangs where it wants to, what shape it wants to. So you go like that and it slides off. And doing that a few few hundred times a day or whatever time soon gonna get fed up of it and I needed it about 10 times I was fed up of it after the third that might make me fussy but I can see ahead of time that I would not want this strap so I'm going to sell it however feature set here that may not be a particularly bad point for you it might not be a point that you can you can't deal with safety may be your first priority and I don't think there's much safer than this pack safe. Uh, even though there's another strap I'm go, gonna go over quickly that has wire. This, I think, when it comes to strength, it's gotta be the winner. Strength, but, mm, well, we'll see. So the pack safe 150, price will be up there. Next one. Oh. My old friend's Hama who have a good working relationship with they're very supportive but they know that I will do an honest review and that's what I'm gonna do so this one is the quick shoot strap and it's made specifically for compact system cameras why do I say that because I mentioned the part the DSLR ones have a two rows of this uh, patented air cell technology to give it more strength and more comfort You've heard me say it before, but this painted technology, while I was skeptical, is actually very comfortable and it does grip on your side. When you lift the camera, I suppose to be, it does, it does, uh, what's the word? It does stay in its place. One thing though, it's not, well, it depends on what your viewpoint is, it's not as fast as the Black Rapid and Carry Speed. That I must say, they are super fast. I think what lets it down in the speed sense is that it's not a metal. It's it's a system. It's a very good system. It's a different system. I, I can't, let me. Um, it's a plastic buckle, a strong plastic, but it's flat, so it doesn't glide across the webbing as the Black Rapid and the uh, Carry Speed. However. What it does has some neat features. It has a swivel, 
link here which always makes sure you have the camera in the direction you want to there's no getting tangled up thinking oh it's not in right you swivel it it's in the right area let me show you i've only got a coin here so i'll do it very loosely all right screwdriver to, to, to your hand right so if you're so as you see it's hanging there if you're looking to get your camera it's never going to get tangled because this swivels so you're always going to have it ready for you which is extremely good when you've got other gear like a bag on you sometimes strap gets tangled this is going to ensure that it's always easy for you to get and it's always in the right direction without any discomfort that's very good what i also like about it is again it's got the safety feature of the two hand mechanism on the clips which is important because some people can just go past and clip gone if they're malicious or they just want to steal your strap the two-handed mechanism is very important because it means they've got to stretch or that you'll notice if they try and put two hands on your strap so that's quite good as i said the comfort on this is up there with the top it's very comfortable this is how it for, for the compact system cameras if you want a dslr one you gotta go for the double row of padding and that's a lot stronger it's very comfortable very strong the webbing is nice and soft there's no wire to make it awkward so when you flick your camera up it does stay on your shoulder the padding part so again this goes around 42 pound i think i put the price up so it's not a bad option if you're looking if you've got a uh, compact system camera very good option if you got a dslr then you go for the larger strap anyway great option always well made german technology let's take it off let's put it away let's get the next camera out let's strap out i mean Ooh. right so think tank think tank well this is not a camera strap have you saw on the on the on the video it was a wild card and the reason why i put this one in is because you don't always want to carry a camera strap when you've got a backpack especially if you've got two cameras you're traveling it's hassle if not near impossible i don't think i could carry two cameras with my backpack So what do you do? Well, the alternative is really look like a geek and put, sorry to everyone out there who's got one, those body harnesses, I think they're very effective, but it really draws attention to you. Alternative, as they call themselves think tank, think out of the box. You can put these in your backpack if it's got buckles and you've got two simple systems, nothing complicated, easy. Just attach them to your clip your backpack two cameras hanging voila easy nothing complicated does what it says a great option if i had two cameras i'd really think about this because i'm not going to carry two cameras on a strap fighting with two straps fighting with a backpack it's just not going to happen and i'm not going to get one of those what are they called uh, body harnesses because you just look ridiculous anyway sorry guys out there and anyway, so that's the think tank one again all the details will be here let's put that there that one's think tank now let's look at this is it a black rapid no it's a quick rapid with a k it's a cheapie from ebay I got it as an alternative to a sling strap. Cost me $3.99. Given its price, hey, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. You've got your two clips. Oops. Ugh. God, that is hard to clip. I don't think it's even showing properly. That is hard work. And your camera stays where it is. It's got a metal. Uh, a slider which is round so you know you're gonna get quick 
and sim fluid movements. Yeah, I, I guarantee I've got that. I'm not sure how good quality this webbing is. Uh, no, I'm not, I wouldn't trust it with my heavy DSLi if I had one. This, uh, it's okay. I don't know how good the, the joints are or how long this would last. I can't say I really trust an expensive camera, but it's okay for the money. If you're thinking you're going to get the best in the world for three ninety nine, uh, you you got to be deluded to think that. No disrespect to anyone. Yeah, so as you saw with this cam, uh, this camera strap, I personally would never get one of those that hang on my shoulder. They are good for some people, but as you saw, my poor GH1 ended on the floor. Thankfully, it doesn't work anyway. It's not been working for a while, so I use it as a dummy. But, you know, that I wouldn't want that happen to my camera, even though my gear is insured. I don't want to just damage my goods, and that would happen to me. I know I've seen guys running around with these, and I think, as it's stay on. But, there you go. Now, I'm not... There is one more, but I'm going to do a quick overview of the Sun Sniper Pro. Right, as you've probably seen from the, uh, the video, it was recorded a while back, but the Sun Sniper Pro is actually a very good strap. It's up there with the top uh, for speed and for strength. It had a good uh, a lot of flexibility in the the shoulder area where you had the sort of flexible part which had a spring action which allowed the, if you've got a heavy DSLR it's not going to pull on your shoulder it's going to pull on the uh, spring area so you're, you're not feeling the way it's displaced on there rather than on your shoulder also one of the best I think this is one of the best things that I like about the Sun Sniper Pro that it's got a high tensile steel single one not the double one like the pack safe running right through the middle now I think the advantage over the pack safe in regards to speed is that it's not held in place so tight like it will shape it ever it forms the wire is more flexible so it does slide unlike the pack safe which is an irritating because it keeps moving the pad but that's not the case with the Sun Sniper Pro also you are covered for up to a thousand euros should someone cut your strap and run off now that may not cover your whole camera but it sure covers the cost of the strap and towards some of the pain that might be caused when they're running off down the road with your 1DX Mark II with your 18-300mm lens of course if you're carrying cameras around like that you should be insured anyway if you're not then you're asking for trouble so you should be insured, but that 1,000 pound, the 1,000 euros should go a long way to compensating you through your painful moments of losing your camera. So that's a really good uh, idea that they, they've had to sell their strap. I, I'm really uh, surprised, not surprised, but really it's a good innovative way to protect photographers gears and show confidence in their own strap, the shame confidence. If you can cut the strap, someone cuts it, we're gonna give you a thousand euros. Obviously you probably have to look through terms and conditions, get a police report, but still, if you're genuine and it does get stolen, you know you've got a thousand euros got towards the compensation. Now, now that's the Sun Sniper Pro, but again, details here. Now I've saved the best for last. Yes, I'm biased. I have no shame in saying that and the reason why I'm biased and that's why I bought the strap is my favorite camera strap the carry speed extreme and that's why I get angry when all you hear on photography blogs is black rapid this black rapid that black rapid this yes they're good straps but they're not the only strap carry speed do amazing straps this I bought as a uh, carry speed extreme when I bought it I think it first came out it was 60 odd pound now they gave 40 something pound I'll put down the retail price and they are bloody good this part first of all I'm a sucker for looking 
my stuff look good this looks good but you can get it in black as well but apart from looking good it's very good on the shoulder this flexes so if you have a heavy camera it does actually again has this movement which takes the weight off your shoulder and keeps the pressure off your body and on the strap extremely strong this is never going to cut great also every buckle of this strap is made by met is met, constructed with metal i think it's aluminium and it's so well constructed you can know that every bit has taken time they've constructed it to high specifications and it's well constructed it's not going to fall apart it's not going to fall but that's metal the plastic clips which are here have the two-handed mechanism for safety brilliant again well thought out two-handed mechanism there again the buckles all metal now what I like about this there's a couple of other features is they're the only one to have a tripod plane so if you want to take this off with your camera attached you want to take it off I'm not going to go through the process you can attach it to your tripod straight away extremely good for professional carry a tripod got the strap on there want to take it off straight on the tripod you don't have to take this off the camera you have all the different tripod holes to put it on there very well thought out the base plate solid metal I could probably uh, injure someone a lot if I threw this at them I wouldn't want to but it just shows how strong it is and this it took me ages to work out how to do it but when I did ball joint like the Harmer one, the only one, other one like the Harmer one, it's a swivel ball joint. So your camera is always in the right place. Let me just put it back. And it's a system that's easily done, but no one's going to go with the two hands and try and take it off. So it's safe. It's a ball joint. It swivels just like the Harmer swivel one. Perfect. Again, strong metal all the way through. They have an uh, under uh, underarm strap because this is, the, this is the Carry Speed Extreme. And by that, it's designed for when you're climbing up mountains, doing extreme sports. It saved my camera many a time. It probably looks after my camera better than I do. So, that's that. You have your clips as, as the black wrap here. So you've got that and you've got your underarm strap that keeps it tight to your body. Now the underarm strap, you can also purchase one, I think, separately with Black Rapid. But everything's separate with Black Rapid. You have to buy this separate. You can buy the wire sleeve, it's separate. It's good, but you've still got to pay more money. But what I also like about this is this bit. So your camera's attached. Let me just show, demonstrate. Your camera is attached there to the thing, to the uh, plate. You now have the ability to hook this through, loop it through. Oh, take it off. Let me just loop it through quickly. I normally have this attached to my camera all the time, so it acts as a hand strap. Right, so that acts here, that goes there. I'm not doing it properly, so I have to put the strap on. I don't want to do that. Right, so while this slides up, this also slides up. So should someone try and slash your camera or it comes loose because you didn't tie it up properly, it's a safety mechanism that will not fall. That's why I love the Carry Speed Extreme. A lot of good bits, one con, which I think is an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate, side to having such a well constructed camera strap with metal it's so damn heavy when i put it in my bag i know i put it in my bag for example this i could carry around with me all day this is the harmless strap and i can have it in my pocket have it anyway carry my bag it wouldn't make an ounce of difference yeah it's still strong still going to do the job still effective this, as much as I love it, and I'll continue to love it, I have a relationship with my gear. 
uh, it's heavy and sometimes I feel to myself I just wish it wasn't heavy however if you've got gear and you want to well protect it and you're climbing around even if you're not climbing around because I don't really climb around I'm too unfit to do anything uh, you can't get better than a carry speed extreme it's gonna protect your gear it's not gonna break it will get slashed if someone uses a knife because it hasn't got wire but then you can be clever and go buy a black rapid sleeve in it as long as it fits the same one and slip it on uh, so there are there are uh, negatives to any strap this one I do love I'm not gonna say anything bad about it apart from the fact that it's heavy this is the Harmer one extremely light but it's not about what's what strap is bad or which one is the best and which one is worse this is the best one for me I love it can't deny it however we all have different requirements different needs and that's why I wanted to do this camera strap to dispel this uh, mass illusion uh, across the photography industry that Black Rapid is the only strap it's a good strap one take but there are so many camera straps out there that are constructed just as well some not so well but there are many out there just as well maybe not as fast this one is as fast that you can buy it there and won't cost you as much or may suit your needs better this will not suit everyone the black rapid might suit you the Harmer might suit more people but whatever it is I'm hoping to have given you all the information for you to go out there and choose the camera strap that suits you without believing there's only one camera strap and that's black graphic anyway guys I've enjoyed doing this I hope you find it useful I'm gonna do another interesting review soon another couple of ones coming up so if you're into filmmaking you're a budding filmmaker and you want to get into filmmaking I'm gonna show you a way hopefully how you can get into it a lot cheaper than having to buy a camera so with that with all that I want to say goodbye thanks for watching I do appreciate you taking your time to watch please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe I'm going to be doing a lot more reviews and some tutorials I'm hoping to go out a night shoot through long exposure photography right. as well as a there. model shoot well, a fitness like shoot video. i'm hoping to get and them organized like all the updates, so do new keep videos come out subscribe please do subscribe anyway thanks again for anyway, watching and i'll see you in my next video oh hi i didn't see you there well i hope you liked the video and if you want all the updates and when new videos come out Please do subscribe. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.